Hello YouTube, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video of a uh, unboxing and testing of a Yihi SX350 chip. Um, this is roughly how you will receive the chip from me. Uh, inside the box will be a, a schematic diagram to show you how to hook it up and three little pieces of wire pre-tinned piece of bubble wrap. Uh, this is the, the factory packaging. It's a Mylar anti-static bag. It's taped to the bubble wrap. Uh, the first thing to be cautious of is uh, just like the DNA 20 and 30 chip, this does have a, a real glass OLED screen. So uh, until the thing is mounted in some sort of an enclosure, you do have to be a little careful with it. I cut the tape off there just so there's absolutely no stress on the uh, chip or the board. Uh, there's the factory packaging. You can see there's a little QC sticker right by my thumb. And that's what the board looks like right out of the factory packaging. It's all kind of uh, bundled up for shipping. So uh, just real gently, just kind of uh, unfold the leads. There's the, the power inputs, the atomizer output. There's the, the fire switch, the trigger switch. And the USB charging dongle slash uh, firmware update. There's this little piece of foam packaging on the back. You can just discard that. So this is a uh, single Sony battery. That's a VTC5. The uh, leads are soldered directly on the chip. Um, I have not found any connector which uh, does not introduce some sort of loss into the system. So um, in my mods, uh, for testing, I go directly to the battery. So uh, negative goes negative, positive to positive, and if you watch the screen, make that last connection, flashes the EE logo, it says SX350, and then it goes away. Hit the power switch five times. Comes back to life. Says ye uh, flashes the he logo. Says SX350, and goes blank again. But now, when you hit the switch, kind of wakes the thing up, and there it's ready to fire. So when you push it and it lights up, that's actually firing. Right now it's running five watts. Three clicks locks the switch, three more clicks unlocks the switch, and five clicks puts you into the uh, menu system. There's exit, system, line, or link, and then the five memory banks. Put it on memory bank five, which is 30 watts, then exit out. Now it's firing at 30 watts. Again, hit the switch five times, system off, tilt that way, and it says bye bye, putting the system to sleep. Now, for further test, I will hook up this uh, high wattage Dale resistor. I believe it's a 50 watt at 1 ohm, so it's a pretty good workout for this board. Make a connection to the negative terminal and then to one terminal of the resistor. Then from the resistor to the uh, white wire, the atomizer wire on top of the board. Wake the chip up again. Now, if you can see, it says the atomizer is 1 ohm. 
and uh, even with this uh, 30 watt setting you can see the battery meter kind of sags down because the battery uses uh, pretty long and thin wires so especially when you're running 50 watts that is definitely a concern uh, this also has a 10 second timer so that you can't run it more than 10 seconds at a time you can see even holding down the button the screen will go dim like there and now the resistor is fairly warm so now this is a, the unit itself is, is not warm. That's in my consideration fully tested. Let's put the thing to sleep again. Tilt it that way. And disconnect the battery. Now if uh, you're having a problem with your unit, this is the time to, to figure that out. Before you have it installed, it's also an excellent time to upgrade with the USB. So, thanks a lot. Enjoy the channel.